See, at this point, I'm just starting to see, like, you know, people just wanted the new. They they looking, they was looking for a, a different sound. They wanted new, and Brits was it. And it, he didn't, I don't think he even anticipated it. And it happened. I ain't gonna even say fast, because he was rapping for a minute. But when it happened, it took off for him. But sadly, it was cut short. But it's not nothing new that happens in Sacramento or other places. And it's not even surprising. Because he was a gang member, and that's what he portrayed himself to be. And that's what comes with this shit. And, you know. But just getting into that. Like, Briss was a blood from Fruit Ridge. But he had a lot of Mexican friends. But in Sacramento, blacks and North Days do not beef. Black gangs and Mexican gangs in Sacramento do not beef. So, he was in a war with no army because he's from Fruit Ridge and he was in a black gang. Even though his friends was Mexicans from a Mexican gang, but he really, just out of his love for them, he was rocking with them. But he really had Nothing to do with their beefs, the, the, the North Days and Fruit Ridge, whatever, whoever they was beefing with. He had nothing to really do with that in reality because you're a blood and you're in a blood gang. Because in, in jail and all that shit, North Days be with North Days. Blacks be with blacks in prison and et cetera. With them being your partners, with y'all being from the same hood, all the shit. And he knew that, because at a point in time, you fucked with old park niggas, because that's what Fruit Ridge niggas do. That's niggas. Blacks. And, you know, he was just in too deep. And took it off. And Because the true story, niggas, is not even niggas really from Fruit Ridge. Not all of them. It's not even a lot of them as it is, but probably the niggas he fucked with, that he grew up with in Fruit Ridge, that was blacks, was part of the true story, but... A lot of them niggas is from other places. So a lot of them niggas wasn't prepared for the type of shit that whatever was was soon to happen and happen. With them funking with other gangs and Mexicans and all that shit, it was just a big pot, a, a mixture of different niggas. And a lot of confusion and all that type of shit. So I don't even think niggas was even prepared for none of that shit. And all this shit really stemmed from rap beef and rap and all that type of shit. Because in the streets, they probably wasn't really even into it with half the niggas they was into it with until the music shit started playing its part. Even though Briston, I never heard a song. I didn't really listen to hell of his songs until up until the point that he died. But, like, the couple songs I did hear, he wasn't blatantly dissing. Like, saying niggas' names. But the niggas he was saying the shit to and throwing piggies down and shit, that's the niggas. The niggas he wanted to hear it was hearing it. So, you know, that's where it's a lot of confusion. You feel me? It's just that. And it all boils down to, like, all this click shit and everybody just fucking with everybody and niggas just being... All around and just doing hella random shit. And, you know, like every rapper, like, beef, you know, they got to beef with somebody. When it's every street, niggas beef with somebody, but it's rap beef now. So rap beef stems with two artists that don't like each other. And, you know, and it happened to be Uzzy Marcus and Brisk going at each other musically, all that shit. 
And you know, sadly, Briss passed, untimely demise. You know, but how would y'all feel if the shoe was on the other foot? Because they both street niggas, both in the streets, both, it could have happened to, to either one of them. Marcus, I mean, but you know, ultimately it was Briss. But I think it was just a lot of just, just back and forth rap beef and just all that shit. Because at the end of the day, you know, just fucked up.